I don't want to do this video right now, but most people don't want to work every day. And I told myself that I would do a video every single day for 1000 days to get zero benefit, at least external benefits. There are internal benefits. Maybe the biggest one being when I started this challenge, I was in a bad habit of telling myself that I was going to do something and then breaking the promise within myself. And now that I'm, I don't even know how many, I think almost like 180 maybe days into this without missing a day. Uh, you stay consistent. <laughs> and I mean, that's how you win over the long run. I mean, that's what I think about business anyway. All I do is just say, okay, what do I have to get done? Let's make sure it gets done. I just treat it as if it was the gym. You're not going to get the best workout every single day, but you show up and you will see results over the long run as long as you are progressively overloading, trying to continuously get better, having some sort of plan, eating well, getting enough protein. There's a lot of things that need to get done, but the consistency is extraordinarily, extraordinarily important. It'd be like trying to think that you are going to get abs by being on a diet one day of the month. Every other day you eat pizza and french fries. One day you eat super healthy, you eat salad and a ribeye steak and some chicken. And then you think that you're going to get super shredded because you were on a diet, even though it was one day. And that's the same with how most people treat their business. Oh, or at least their side hustle that they want to turn into their business or a business that they're starting. I'm going to work super hard for five days and then I'm not going to do anything for a week. And then I'm going to blah, 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 blah. I treat it more as I'm just going to work every single day of the year, Christmas, Easter, every single day, no matter what to some degree. Some days I'll work 15 hours. Some days I'll work an hour and a half. Some days I'll work 30 minutes, but I'm just in the habit of working every single day. And I love it. I love it. I'm so excited to work tomorrow because it's an actual busy day because I now absolutely love what I do. I, I love it so much. It, it's, it's hard to explain. I can't wait to go to bed so I can wake up and start working. How many people get to say that? At first, everyone hates what they do. Everyone hates it. But I, when I was in seventh grade, when I started going to the gym at first, I hated going to the gym. Then I started to love going to the gym. Same thing with business. I, some people say that that's not the case. I just don't think people put in the reps for it. I actually enjoy making these stupid little videos sometimes now. I mean, you don't want to go to the gym every single day. You don't want to work every single day. I don't want to make these stupid videos every single day. But, you know, you have fun doing it. You have fun doing it. I, I think it's weird that I talk to myself, but I guess probably the only person who wants to listen to myself anyway. So anyway, that's my rant on consistency, which is just discipline. I mean, I'm so tired, mainly because I've been a useless slob today. Still did, Still did a lot of work, though. I think it's, I think what is actually weighing on me is that yesterday I sprained my ankle, yeah, medium bad. It, it, I can't really work out on it uh, or do any physical, too much physical activity. I took today as a quasi rest day, which I hate doing because I find so much enjoyment in exercising. So instead I just, I took down an, a massive bag of vanilla covered pretzels which were disgusting and i have a bad problem of when i open something i have to finish it i have i, I mean it's i honestly want to throw up because it was such a large freaking bag it was probably i don't know i think it was like 18 servings of like seven little pretzels that were covered in vanilla and you know like the first 10 they're like oh wow this is so good and then the next 50 of them, you're just forcing yourself to eat when you know you shouldn't be, but you do it anyway because you're a fucking bitch. That, that, that's my biggest problem. I will overeat to the death of me with super bad food that I don't want anymore, and I know it is bad for me, and I don't know why I do it. I mean, I'm cognitively aware. It's like I just, my, my body takes over. It's just like, dude, you have to finish this or you're going to die. I don't get it. I don't get it. I do that with everything. I just overdo it. 
which is why I should just stay away from that garbage. <sighs> so the morales are definitely low right now, but I have a extraordinarily busy day with Ken tomorrow. Ken's one of the guys that I work with who he's a freaking beast. We are in about two weeks, we'll be flying to some sort of conference that he's speaking at that I'll get to go to with him. And it's going to be super badass. If you don't know Ken, he has 10,000 real estate units. I'm driving one of his super, super cool cars right now. I'm living in one of his 10,000 apartments. I'm making him a boatload of money right now. So he's actually going to upgrade my place for when I come back to Arizona. I'm leaving Arizona for the summer just because it gets way too hot. He leaves too. He goes to Idaho. So I'm going to go to Columbia for the summer. But then when I come back here, he already has like a cooler spot for me. I've also overpromised my services a lot. I said that in three years, we're, I'm going to help him create an online business and or soon I'm going to help him create an online business. But within, within three years, we'll be making or it'll be generating hopefully four to five hundred thousand dollars per month. <laughs> uh, that's such a stupid thing for me to say, but I love it. I love it. Now I got to figure out how to do that. But I, I mean, I have a bunch of ideas. Uh, so he's getting me a, a, a nice place. I'm already in a nice place. I mean, it's for free. I, I don't know how my life has gotten to this. It's so good. It's so good. I'm the, I am definitely, I've used up my entire life worth of luck in about three years. I've used it all up. So it can really only go downhill from here. I guess we'll we'll see within the next thousand days if my luck runs out. I do think you put yourself in position to be lucky, which I do constantly, constantly, constantly. So I've been attracting luck per se. But anyway, anyway, thank you, God. And this is a throwaway video. Bye.